A new poll says Americans have shifted dramatically on the values that matter the most to them. The Wall Street Journal NBC News study says 50% of Americans say religion is important. That's down 12 points from 1998. And 43% placed a high value on having children. That is 16 points lower. Joining us now to discuss the study is Dr. Charmaine Yost, Vice President of the Institute for Family, Community and Opportunity at the Heritage Foundation. Charmaine, welcome back. What do you make of these numbers and, and why has religion and starting a family specifically dropped so much? Well, hey, thanks for having me and thanks for paying attention to this story because I do think it is really important and really concerning because, you know, these questions of family, community and, you know, forming a family are, are at the center of what really gives meaning and there's even research that shows that these are the roots of happiness for people. And so to see young people losing confidence and losing a focus on the things that ultimately give value to your life, I think that's something that we need to sit up and pay attention to. And it's happened so dramatically just within the last 20 years is how much has gone down. Um, how much of a concern is this? Well, listen, the other thing is that I would draw people's attention to is I put this together in my head with the, what we're calling the markers of despair that are also all rocketing upwards. People are hearing a lot about the opioid crisis, but at the same time you're seeing all the numbers on opioid um, abuse going up, you're also seeing numbers go up for suicide, despair, anxiety. All of these markers of despair are going up. And I don't think it's a coincidence. Obviously, ca proving causality is one thing. Mm -hmm. But I think we all kind of intuitively understand that as community is breaking down, as young people are feeling more disaffected and less of having a sense of rootedness in a particular place, um, maybe not even um, a physical place, but feeling a place in the world um, that family and community gives to you, it's not a surprise that we're seeing a lot of um, a lot of this kind of emotional distress. And obviously, when it comes to churches, the Catholic Church, other exactly. Christian churches, obviously, we're seeing a decline in people attending church. I'm guessing your position is that all these things are interconnected. This is related. They absolutely are, and you know, there's certainly in across and across faiths and across denominations, there's there is evidence that they're paying attention to the fact that they need to reach young people. Um, but it's, it can't be said enough that we have to be looking at how is it that we continue to communicate the transcendent and eternal truth to the next generation. Should candidates running for president address this poll? I mean, and how much do you think they would be willing to pay attention to this? Well, I absolutely think, you know, I'd like to see more data. Um, you know, you don't want to put too much stock in only one poll. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's terribly surprising that you see questions of patriotism declining along with some of these others. It, it's it Patriotism is also a sense of connectedness, right? And part of my concern as you look at 2020 is that anytime you have a presidential election, it's a national conversation. Mm -hmm. And so um, as you see a lot of the toxicity that we're seeing in our politics, I think we want to be paying attention to that as well. And what is it, what do we call our politicians to civility and to an emphasis on um, paying attention to valuing our country and valuing the things that make America great? I know it's hard to predict the future, but what do you think about this t trend? Is it still growing? Do you think this is going to get worse in the next 20 years? Are we expecting lower numbers? What do you think? Well, I think that um, I think that we need to pay attention to it and find, you know, rebuilding a fraying of social fabric is is a real challenge because it is so complex. Um, it starts with the family and it starts with the individual, though, and those are the things that are encouraging as we see other markers of people coming together. Well, we've been concerned about these issues for a long time. You say the breakdown of the family, decline in church attendance. It's so interesting to get get your take on this and obviously see how all of them are so interconnected. Dr. Charmaine Yost, Vice President of the Institute for Family, Community and Opportunity at the Heritage Foundation. Thanks so much for coming Thank in. Thank you.